The last time I talked about the Bala 9 setup and then gave you a big picture about the six setup uh, step by step. Here is the first one ESM setup. ESM setup, we're using the server. You see, this is a server called ESM A01, something domain.com, doesn't matter. And then continue, we're going to do this. The first one set up I'm only talk about it installation ESM when we finish checking setup we can do the ESM ESM configuration that take quite a long time server in this series we have several servers ESM is one SSB will be I talked about it before is SSO manager EIS is your EIS server as the identity. Okay. The, here is the Tomcat XEA's Tomcat server, you will for application. And then job server is left from uh, Bana 8. IMB is also from um, before from Bana 8. I also have a database server. The server generally were in this series when the deal is in those servers. Uh, in the school, usually you have a lot of Tomcat server, maybe 10 or 20 of them. Uh, it doesn't matter which is the great one here to show how it works. For the ESM installation, it is the, basically it's very simple. You are uh, create users, you set up directory. Directory will be your zero tool holding your uh, deploy the software like Java, Tomcat, you know, Groovies, everything else, right? Configure files there. And then you create another directory, is U01. From U01, that is, you install the Java, Tomcat, uh, you know, the ESM. So it's, you log in as a root, you create running this command. As a result, it create a group also user with the same name and then you change the password it's a password or put in yeah. when you create a user the next one you create two directories as i explained one is the holding deployed software another one is the real location for sub, uh, for software deployment Another one we need to do called a RNG tool. This one is used for uh, generate random number. Uh, for security setting, ESM needed this one to set up to do it. So uh, this is generally the, you are running yum install command. And then when you install it, check directory here, this file. If you do not have it, you create the one. You put the following information in this file. Yeah. Copy this lines, uh, save it in the file. And then the next one, you can start service. Okay. Also, uh, this is typically is to use start with root, uh, using the service command RND. Uh, you know, these files, RND file. These files, you put one line there and one line there. That's your DB. you ran it. So this is the general list. This is steps, very simple. You just set up the random generator, RNG. The next one is you create in the U02, right? you make directory called ESM deploy. So you're going to download all the software. This software is so you download the, this directory, unzip it. When you unzip it, you got Java files, so you got uh, also ESM war files, and also the Tomcat uh, installation file group B file, some configure files, everything's under here. 
the next one is install the Java. Install Java in this way we're using because this uh, software uh, bring you one called java.tar file, but it actually install Java the current one you can use any way you can use a zip file or a tar file, even use a yum install, it's also working. You go to this directory and then you just untar this file. It create one directory under U01 that will be your Java home. In order to Linux to know where's Java home, you modify this file. Put this line in that file. When you any times you log in Linux, they're going to know where is location for Java. The next one is so install and configure Tomcat. Tomcat is, is the web server for ESM. Uh, you do the same thing. You go to this directory, right? You unzip the one file in that directory. When you finish unzip, this directory is including the Tomcat. And then you need to modify some files to configure it. It's very easy. You first you get rid of all the files under this directory, web apps. That directory is the location for your war file. Any war file you load in this direction, uh, directory, it will going to be deployed. So the next one for server XML file, you modify the port. Modify the 8080 to 8081. The reason is 8080, we're going to talk about the next time about Jenkins. Another one is the start files, the uh, Catalina files. These files, you just put where's a Java location. In this file, when they started, you're going to find the right Java and modify the Java ops. When you finish the setup Tomcat, you already have Tomcat file structure. Then you copy this file, admit our work, under deploy directory to the location web apps. Admit our work file is the EMS application. When you copy there, anytime when you start Tomcat, ESM will be deployed. Groovy is one for protocol used by Lucian, so for the reason you just needed to set up this one uh, in a printer. So you, same thing like I did, you go here, zero one, Groovy, and then your unzipped file in Groovy so you you will get uh, everything set up in that directory in the zero one. Next one will be ESM configuration database encryption key. By doing so, you run into Java. You go to this directory, yeah, running Java, and then, of course, before you do that one, you create this directory, make the error, city home. Home is the, this directory, center home is the hidden directory. And then you're running Java and give the pass. When you're running this command here, when you're running this command here, you can, they ask you the DB file password. This is not database connection. It's just a file. They have a DB file. Later I'm going to tell you which file to back up. That's a DB file. Password and DB username, uh, DB user password and the username is ESM admin. Right? Another is a persist, persistent directory. This one you'll create later. That will be holding some config files. 
when you download this one, you go to these directories you created, uh, and then you're going to find one file, modified drive. You really don't need to modify it. If it should be everything's right, but if something's wrong, go just to checking to see if anything is wrong. Go to PC. Position one, it should be this way. And the username should be this one. So, in that case, should be everything's right. Just to check it. The next one, step 10. Step 10, you create one for solution manager application data directory. In this data directory, because before you set it to uh, persistent directory, when right? you create, is here, you physically create this directory called U01 admin app. For this directory, you copy two files from your deploy directory. One is to configure propping, another one is a PROD code map. The one thing you have to check that because everything should be okay, but double check this file configure property file because that file so one thing you have to check is your download URL this URL will provide by Illusion and the port number provided by Illusion you're going to use this URL to go Illusion to download automatic download software now Tomcat is set up you can start your uh, ESM uh, application. Uh, you just go to Tomcat Director Bing, start app.sh. When this one succeeded, you check log file. If everything is fine in log file, by now ESM will be up. Here's the URL. You can log on ESM. So, when you log on, the first time when you log on, you enter admin, the username, and ESM admin in password. ESM is going to ask you to change it, the password. So you change the any password you want. Click update. You're done. By now, you can enter. The ESM system the interface will be looks like here. When you log in, the first thing to do is to because you have to download everything automatically from Illusion. And first things you to do is you go here called the system setting. When you click on the system setting, this URL should be already there because uh, the file is including it, right? The things you put in here is uh, user name, also password. This one you cannot create yourself. You have to talk to the Illusion and say, I here download software. They're going to set up for you one username and password to log on. When you finish, you click on save. It's finished. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is uh, how can you use the Illusion ESM to upgrade ESM itself. The reason is I show you the old one, right? 1.7 for installation. But we're going to do it to upgrade to 1.8. The reason is in your future work, uh, you probably never ask to install the ESM because ESM already installed configured, but you always have to upgrade ESM. That's very simple. You log on Solution Manager. You click on Get New Releases on this page. Environment page, okay. Here is the environment page. I click on it. You can find get new release. It takes quite a long time if you never did it uh, then because you have a lot of modules. Each module has quite a lot upgrade or patch. Be all the 
those things download take quite a long time. When it finish, when it finish, you click on the system update tab. You're gonna find if it's a new version, say 1.8 version, right? You review the files, click on the performance update. When the update is finished, the system is going to restart. That meaning when you log in again, the version will be 1.8. Or even higher, if you say constantly you have a, a new version, you can use the same way to do it. Uh, just to get a new release, so find it and click on perform update. The next one is to show you how to start and shut down the ESM you just installed. It's very easy in TimeCamp, Bing directory, shut down is the way to do it, and start up. It is the way to start up. When you start up, remember the file called me at the me tar. That is a ESM application. So that tar, a car, war file, is going to be deployed so you can get into the ESM. When you finish the one, these the good things to do is back up this file. This is a DB file. Yeah. In order to do that, you have to shut down it. You shut down the ESM, copy this file somewhere else, save it, and restart it. So here is the general installation. It's a, a pretty easy one. And for configuration, ESM is a quite long task. Have a, at least a, depend on how many servers you have. Uh, at least as a database server, job server, SSB, and B, these four servers. Uh, you have to deal ways to configure one by one. If your school have 10 or 20 Tomcat servers, then you have to put in the information one by one. Now it takes quite a long time. We cannot do this now because we have to install Jenkins first before we can do the configuration. After Jenkins install, uh, ESM can talk to the server, then you can do the uh, configuration. Thanks for listening. See you next time.